Hey, you're watching Midwinter Minis, my name's Guy, this video has been supported by Incogni, and a few weeks ago I put out a video about the Warlord Titan, the biggest, most expensive Warhammer model you can get, and how that in the physical tabletop game, it's basically a bit rubbish. I'm not going to go over all the reasons why in this video, but as far as I'm concerned, the main problem is that, apart from it costing two grand of real money, it costs 3,500 points to field in a game, basically meaning you're never going to get to see it in a regular 2,000 point game of 40k. And I thought, well hey, why not just make it 2,000 points? Would fielding a single skyscraper-sized war machine in a game of infantry, tanks and monstrous aliens really break the game? I mean, there's only one way to find out. <laughs> To put my new 2000 point Warlord Titan hypothesis to the test, I headed to my pal Steve's new studio that he just finished building. And by building, I mean physically building. He did the erection, so to speak. Now, Steve recently played his Imperial Knights Army in a tournament, Hellstorm Wargaming's all-star event, where he won three games and lost three games. So it's an averagely competitive all-rounder 2000 point army list. Well, as all-rounder as Imperial Knights can be, they tend to suck a little bit at objective control, and they also tend to favour high toughness enemies. But I thought that Steve's Knights, also immaculately painted, would be the perfect test bed for the Warlord Titans' first 2000 point game. Okay, here we go, a nice, simple game. The only deviation away from the standard tournament game is that we chose not to use secondary objectives, so primaries only. Okay, so we have set up the table as a kind of abandoned Forge World manufactorum planet thing with a bit of empty space for things to move around. We've both got big armies after all, but lots of buildings and obstacles to keep movement a little bit more tactical, especially around those objectives. For the hammer and anvil setup which we drew basically means we're deploying at the far end of the table and there are five objectives one in each deployment zone and three in the center of the map basically along the straight line of the center i mean it's not quite tournament but to be fair if we were to set this up as pure tournament i don't even think guy would be able to deploy no. let alone move <laughs> no, around no. <laughs> So this is the kind of thing we imagine that you'd see a kind of a match play game but still quite casual Okay, Steve, uh, draw me a primary objective. Okay, here we go. <laughs> uh, purge the foe. Okay, that's actually one of the only ones that is kind of beneficial to me, really. It basically just awards any player for destroying things in their turn. While it doesn't necessarily benefit me, it certainly does not benefit Steve because I only have one thing to destroy. Okay, let's draw you out a mission rule. So, in the first battle round, we basically all get cover but can't use any core stratagems. Okay, before we deploy, let's take a look at the armies. Uh, Steve, shall I go first? It'll be quite quick. <laughs> yeah, why not? You go first. <laughs> okay, so for my army, I have brought the Warlord Titan. And what weapons does it have, Guy? The Warlord Titan has two Apocalypse missile launchers on its shoulders. It has two Ardex Defensor LAS cannons, two Ardex Defensor maulers, the Sun Fury Plasma Annihilator, and an Ariok Power Claw. So not many weapons altogether, but each one of those is pretty powerful. So hopefully I'll be able to see off quite a few of your models. So why don't you tell me what you've got, Steve? Okay, so today I've brought a list that I used to play at Hellstorm Wargaming's uh, All-Star event recently. Pretty much exactly the same list. I think it's uh, 1,995 points. I'm bringing along Canus Rex. Now he's great. He's got a big fist and a great gun. He's a little bit of a casino cannon because you've got to roll on some, uh, some fives and sixes, but he does have the potential to do some big damage if he gets up close. I've also brought one of my favorite knights, a Lancer. Now his shooting is pretty much terrible, is only good for taking out infantry, but he is great off the charge. But with shooting in mind, I've also brought the Knight Castellan. Now he is very shooty. A plasma decimator, shield breaker missile launcher, twin melter guns, twin siege breaker cannon, and a volcano lance. And then for the battle line, I'm bringing you along three Armager Warglaives. They can run around, cause havoc, take some points, just generally get in the way. But very, very last, just because I had the points left, I've brought an assassin. A Calidus assassin. Not sure how useful she's going to be up against a Warlord Titan, but you never know, she might end up charging him. That'd be fun. Okay, so the Warlord that I've got for today isn't Canis Rex. It's going to be the Big Castellan. Alrighty, let's roll to see who is the attacker and who is the defender. Is that some fancy dice there, guy? None of your business. <laughs> 
Oh, both sixes. Let's go again. Right, looks like you're the attacker then, guy. See who deploys first. Okay, very normal deployment of a Warlord Titan. And uh, yeah, you can set up the rest of your army now. <laughs> okay, my setup is pretty standard as we're going to be playing a game where basically he can see me at any point wherever I am, just because we don't think the line of sight rules are going to work any other way. So I've deployed everything really far forwards as my game plan is basically get as many objectives as I can, run up and hit his shins until he dies. Right, there's the premise laid out, the armies introduced and the pre-game setup done. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. I'd be interested to see what your first impressions are. And while you're writing that out and before we kick off, so to speak, I just want to quickly mention Incogni, who have kindly sponsored this video. You probably already know that there are hundreds of companies out there collecting, aggregating and selling your data. Your name, your address, your political leanings, your purchase history, all that juicy information that you really don't want being traded on the open data market. Now you are totally within your rights to write to these companies and tell them to take your data off their lists. But as I said, there's hundreds of them. And if you manually requested each one of those individually, it would take you probably a month's worth of full-time work to do just that. Now I do have some good news for you though. Incogni is a service that basically does all of the hard work for you, automatically sending takedown requests on your behalf. If you've watched any of my videos over the last year, you'll probably have noticed that Incogni are a long time supporter of the channel and I am a customer of theirs. I use their service. And even if you're remotely protective over your personal data, you'll probably want to be their customer too. I've been a member since February last year and in that time I've been removed and kept off 112 data broker lists with more in the works and I've seen a notable decrease in spam emails and junk mail and I practically get zero cold calls now, which is awesome. If you want to join the club too, I can help you get a tasty discount. Just head to incogni.com slash midwinterminis and you will get 60% off your annual subscription. Just enter the code midwinterminis at checkout and you're golden. Right, back to the game. Okay, here we go. I think this is turn one. Over to you, Guy. Are you going to run up the board? Well, strategically, the Warlord Titan has a lot of benefits in terms of range that it's not really getting because we're playing it on a normal 6x4 board. Really, I want to stay as far away from you as possible for as long as possible, which is why I deployed right at the edge of the table. But because I have one model that's big enough to be in the vicinity of two objectives at once, I am tempted to run it forward a little bit and try and take that center objective and hold it for the entire game. I mean, yeah, you could come closer. Sure. I, yeah, why not? The way you're saying that makes me think I'm just going to stay still. I'm going to stand still. <laughs> I'm not going to win this on objectives anyway. I'm going to stand still and shoot you with everything I have. Yeah, command phase, both get one command point, bringing us both to one. And how many core stratagems does that one command point get you going? Absolutely none, thank you. Yeah, so just a reminder, the Warlord Titan has the ability, so-called ability, Striding Colossus, which basically makes the command point cost of every stratagem you apply to the Warlord Titan times by four. So command reroll, that's four command points, not just one. Absolutely obscene. And also, I can't overwatch. Just got to bear that in mind. As I said, movement phase, I am not going to move. So straight onto the shooting phase. I'm going to target Canis Rex first because I've just looked at his melee stats and it's a little bit scary. Are you sure you don't just want to take out one of the little armages? They're real pesky. Do I have to declare all of my shots up front? You do have to declare ah. all of your shots up front. You can't just ping one off and then decide later. Everything. Yeah, yeah, everything. <laughs> Every single thing I have in Zacanus Rex. <laughs> everything apart from the Ardex Defensor Mauler is within range because I'm 47 inches away. So let's just go. Starting with the Sun Fury Plasma Annihilator overcharged. Guess who's rotating Ion Shields for an extra pip of protection. That takes me down to no CP already. Okay, so I might have forgotten about a little rule called Legendary Freeblade, which means Canis can be targeted with a stratagem and it only cost him a grand total of no CP. So I might just get that CP back. Sun Fury Plasma Annihilator is 2d6 plus six shots. Okay, that's, I mean, that's 12 shots. Uh, hitting on threes. Ooh, okay, uh, four misses, so that's eight hits. And this is strength 12. Yeah, and Canis is toughness 12. So I'm needing fours here. I dropped three, made five, and that is AP minus three. So because I rotated Iron Shields, that would give me an extra pip of protection. But I've just remembered that it was Fog of War, so I didn't need to do that anyway. Here we go. Five four pluses. Sun Fury Annihilate that. <laughs> 
Oh, don't worry, it's not done yet. Uh, I need to do a hazardous test. <laughs> Okay, next up, the Arioc Power Claw on the back of the big old fist. There's a massive bolter cannon thing. So that is firing a Canis Rex as well. 20 shots hitting on threes. And this actually has sustained hits one. So sixes are going to net me an extra hit. Okay, that's quite a lot of misses there. I got three sixes, so I get three additional hits. 13 hits in total. This is only strength six, so wounding on sixes. Well, you hate to see it. Okie dokes. Well, that was a bit of a stretch anyway. Next up, the Ardex Defensor Last Cannons. There's two of those hitting on threes. Ooh, okay, just one hit and it's strength 12 at least, so wounding on four. Yes, just one, AP minus three. Okay, that looks like it made it through. How many damage is that guy? D6 plus one, baby, let's go. Uh-oh. Cocked. Uh-oh. Now I get my feel no pains. Are you ready? We're gonna get six sixes. A little bit off. Down from 22 to 17 wounds. Mm, those are very fancy wound holders. Where'd you get those from? Oh, well, thank you, Guy. I'm glad you noticed. Uh, you can check them out on littleplasticpeople.com. Okay, so in the coolest of all stories, I've only got one thing left to shoot, and that is the two Apocalypse missile launchers, which, to be fair, do 20 shots each. Again, all targeting Canis Rex, hitting on threes. I am an Orc player, so I have 40 dice ready to go, so let's just do both at the same time, needing threes. That looks awful. There's so many twos and ones. Whoa, no. Now this is strength eight, so I'm only wounding on fives. <laughs> uh, I mean, this this really feels like orc shooting now. Eight successful wounds, AP minus two. So four pluses again. That's five fail, they're two damage each, so you're gonna need to do 10, feel no pains. That's only one save. That's nine go through. Oh dear. Well, that's convenient. He's uh, he's down to eight wounds and he brackets at seven. Y yeah, that's all of the shooting that the Imperium's finest war machine can muster. And that's the end of my turn. <laughs> Time for Imperial Knights turn one. Okay, and here's the first shenanigan. Because Guy went first, I can now lift my mysterious guardian knight, the Lancer, off the table. I can put him back on the table as if he's deep strike, turn one. So that does mean I'm gonna need at least a nine inch charge. Right, let's go, baby. We both get a command point. Movement wise, we're just gonna move everything right up the field. Lancer can't move because he's dropped in, but he will be charging shortly. And that is everything. Let's get onto the shooting. Guy, do you want me to declare? <laughs> Having just checked, unfortunately, Canis is about half an inch out of range. So good job you uh, deployed where you did, guy. I'll get you on the next turn, don't you worry. Time for the Castellan. We're going to work from top to bottom all the way through his weapons. Plasma Decimator, we're going to overcharge. D6 plus 3. That's 5. Hitting on 3s. I can reroll 1, but I think I'm going to save that for the Volcano Lance, which I will do next. Strength nine versus? At uh, toughness 16. Okay, fives. Well, that's gone well. Should have definitely done the Volcano Lance first, then I might have been able to use some of those rerolls, but never mind, every day's a school day. D3 attacks. Perfect. Again, hitting on threes. Strength 18 versus, what was that again, guy? Toughness 16. That's threes then. Rerolling the one. So you've got three saves to make, and that is AP minus five. Okay, the Titan has a 2 plus armor save, but it also has a 5 up and vulnerable save, which I'll have to take now, so 5s please. Oh no! I take it this isn't going to be good. <laughs> it depends on how you define good. Uh, each one of those is uh, D6 plus 8. Are you joking? No, and I get to reroll any 1s as well, because you're a giant monster. I'm not being funny, but how come my <laughs> I have a gun that's bigger than your model and your gun is better than mine? I don't run the rules! <laughs> I don't run the rules! Well, that's uh, certainly interesting. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's at this point I feel like I have to preface that we're not fudging dice rolls. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, D6 plus 6. So each one of those is 12, 36 wounds. I think, yeah, that, that seems to math. And yep. I don't have any feel no pains. Right, on the plus side, 
I start with 100 wounds. That does mean I'm down to 64 wounds in turn one, which is not a good start. And that's only with one model having shot at me with one of its guns. Oh, God. Yeah, there's more to come. Next up is the Shield Breaker Missile Launcher. So that's threes to hit, and I haven't used my reroll for uh, hitting yet. So there we go. Perfect. Now, because we're anti-Titanic 4+, plus, we're looking for fours. Rolling hot today. Right, guy, that's AP minus six. Down to a five up and runnable save. Uh, lost one of them. How many wounds is it? That's uh, D6 plus one, but I get to re-roll it if it's a one. Another four wounds off. That takes me down to 60. Last guns. Twin Siegebreaker Cannon. Ah, oh, another half inch again. Just out of range. I don't think I'm going to try and shoot at you with some stubbers, so I think we're about there for shooting. I'm just going to get straight to the charging. I can't overwatch anyway, so on you go, bucko. <laughs> oh, that's a seven. I don't fancy that Lancer's chances now. <laughs> okay, that's it for me. That's the end of my turn. And that also means uh, turn one is over, so Fog of War is done. So no one is in cover anymore, and core stratagems are back on the table, baby. And it's the start of Warlord Titan turn two, so everyone gets a command point. I'm up to three. Steve, you're up to three. Up to three. Yeah, hang on a sec. I think we did the damage wrong in the Volcano Lance. It's D6 plus eight, right? Not D6 plus six. So that would have been 14 wounds each, which is 14, 28. So that'd be 42 wounds lost down to 58. And then I took another four, which is 54. So man, I'm almost halfway dead. Uh, my plan is pretty simple. I'm gonna move up a little bit closer to that Lancer to pretty much guarantee a successful charge. And then I'm gonna fire literally everything I have yet again at Canis Rex to see if I can take it out and then hopefully charge and then punch the Lancer to death. Taking two things out in one turn and being an absolute boss. Let's see how that actually plays out. I'm sure everything will work out fine. Okie dokes, movement phase done, shooting phase, Please, Sun Fury Plaza Annihilator, do something. <laughs> Aiming at Canis Rex, 2d6 plus six shots. Okay, well that was pretty rubbish. Five plus six, that is 11 shots hitting on threes. Um, okay, seven successes. I'm overcharging obviously, so this is gonna be strength 12 against toughness 12. Wounding on fours. Oh, come on, only three successes. They are AP minus three though. Okay, four up invulnerable. How many damage are those guys? Eight each. Okay, I'm gonna re-roll one of those. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so that's eight feel no pains. Are you ready everyone? Eight sixes. That's five go through. He's really feeling the heat now. He's down to three wounds. He's definitely bracketed and I think he might be in trouble. Ardex defense and Mauler, now it's in range. Two of those, six shots hitting on threes. They are only strength six though, so winning on sixes. You really do hate to see it. That's just one AP minus two. Four plus, and there we go. Okay, doke, no problem. Uh, now the two Ardex Defense allows cannons. One shot each, hitting on threes. Oh yes. Strength 12, so winning on fours. And that's AP minus three. Back onto that four plus. Uh oh, how many damage is that guy? That's a D6 plus one. So anything but a one would kill it. Come on, please. <laughs> Just about. He's dead. Uh, no. Feel no pains. No! <laughs> so if I get A6, he lives. You die, you die, you die, you die. <laughs> that's unfortunate. We'll see if he explodes. Okay, that's unfortunate. But don't worry, you don't get to score any points because the pilot gets to drop out. This is ridiculous. <laughs> Let me score my points. Because he's a new data sheet that has the character keyword, it means I can't target him because he's not the closest model. And I've already declared that all my shooting was going on that unit and it's not the same unit anymore. Ah! So I don't want to rub salt in the wound. I mean, he's actually a lone operative, so you can't even shoot at him if you're not within 12 inches. Right, shooting phase over. Time to punch the absolute balls <laughs> of this Lancer. <laughs> Bam, charge roll of an eight, I am in. Come to papa. Okay, so out of the weapons that I have, I'm gonna choose the Arioc Power Claw using the Strike Profile, because it is the strongest and does the most damage. We'll find out what that does when it happens, hopefully. The thing we need to know now is it does six attacks, hitting on fours. Fours, unbelievable. Okay, yeah, I missed two, that's fine. And now it is strength 20. I'm gonna be wounding on threes. 
three successful wounds, AP minus four. Okay, that's the four plus invulnerable because he's got that nifty little shield. Okay, so I probably could re-roll one of those, but uh, how, how many wounds is that? Um, that'd be 72 wounds. What? <laughs> 24 each. <laughs> yeah, I won't bother re-rolling that then. That's, uh, yeah, okay, fine. I don't think I'm going to try and roll 70 plus Fiona Paints. I think he's dead. Steve, take your model off the board. I have a little bit of a shenanigan to do first. First, let's see if he explodes. No exploding. So for two CP, he's gonna get right back up with Valiant Last Stand. He's back up and he has one wound remaining. Right, it's time for him to hit back. Let's have a go with this Shock Lance. Now he's not charged, so the Lance bit doesn't matter, but he gets five attacks. Normally hitting on twos, but he's bracketed, so now hitting on threes. That'll do, pig. Strength 20, so here we go, some threes. Can re-roll one of those? Perfect. That's four AP minus three saves, please. Oh, that takes my two up armor save to a five up. Nope, just one save made. That's three fails. What damage do they do each? Steve, why are you smiling? I, 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 I mean, I, 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 eight <laughs> each. So 24 altogether. I mean, if that's how the math lands. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't have any feel no pains either. So that is just 24 wounds taken. 54 wounds down to 30, which means I am bracketed and I'm going to be minus one to hit and just generally rubbish. Amazing turn two. Good for me. Well done. Well, well done there, guy. You've actually scored some points. I think that's four points. But I think, I think that might be it. That's my turn finished. And now it's time for Steve's turn two. I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I score 10 points because I'm on two objectives. Beginning of my turn two, everyone gets a CP. Guy, you're up to four now. You can do something. I can do a single reroll. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> now, I had an armature in reserve, so he's going to pop in as close as he can get and get a charge. Perfect positioning. He's nine inches away. Same battle plan as we had before. Everybody forwards. I don't think I'm going to worry about objectives right now. We've got a decent roll for an advance for that Armiga, and so off we go. That sneaky little assassin's just going to stay exactly where she is, keep scoring those points. Movement done, time for some shooting. Guy, how do you feel about taking some of that volcano lance again? I feel like I'm being bullied at this point. <laughs> D3 attacks. Okay, that's two attacks, hitting on threes. Wonderful, that's two hit. So threes it is. I can re-roll one of those into a two. Didn't wound. No. Yes! <laughs> okay, so that's not gone as well as it could. Next up, let's supercharge that plasma decimator. D6 plus three attacks. Six plus three, that's nine. Get a job on Sesame Street. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh boy. Oh boy, you're gonna die. <laughs> Threes. Reroll one of the fails. Strength 9 versus 16. Needed fives, only got two. Okay, guy, that is two saves at minus three AP. Uh, yeah, twos ain't gonna do it. What's the damage? Uh, that's three each, so six in total, please. Okay, that's another six wounds off. Uh, the 30 wounds remaining, that's down to 24. Right, let's have a go at the Shield Breaker Missile Launcher. We've got two of those. Hitting on threes. Okay, well that went well, and that is now two saves at, would you like to guess the AP? Minus six. Minus six? Oh, yeah, God. minus six. Um, okay, so five up and save. That's one not saved. What's the damage? D6 plus one. I won't reroll that, we'll leave that there. Whoa, four damage off, down to 20 wounds. Last bit of shooting with this guy. Twin Siege Breaker Cannon. Just got one of these, that's D6 attacks. That's the full six. That's five. Okay, I need sixes. Not a one. Time for the Armagers to shine. Let's get those thermal lances on the go. Closest one. Two attacks, hitting on threes. Rerolling one fail. A one into a one. That didn't go quite as well, and I don't think we're going to try with the stubbers, so let's have a go with the other guy. Of course, this guy hits with double sixes. 12 versus 16, we're looking for fives. Reroll one fail. Nothing. And that is all she wrote. <laughs> You're gonna charge with that little armager. Oh yeah, definitely. Need a nine inch charge. And no dice. Never mind. 
Wait, does that mean I made it into turn three? You have made it into turn yeah, three. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Warlord Titan, turn three. Command phase. Everyone gets command point. I'm on five. I'm very much on that objective. I get five victory points. Okay, so in my movement phase, I'm not going to cower and hide. I might as well move forward, right? I'm going to move towards the armager because I think absolutely pummeling it into the ground would be pretty funny. Okay, this is uh, not going how I planned. <laughs> He's in trouble. <laughs> the only thing I'm not a fan of with the Warlord Titan in actual games when it has to move around terrain is it just looks like it's crab walking everywhere because it has to like <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> sideways, sideways. Cool beans. So in the shooting phase, every single thing I have is going to go into that Castellan because it has caused me no end of troubles. Starting with the Sun Fury Plasma Annihilator, please do something this turn, oh my god. And rotate. Ion shields yes. or just your body? <laughs> okay, Sun Fury Plasma Annihilator, supercharge, 2d6 plus 6 shots, please. Yeah, slightly over average, I'll take it. Eight plus six, that is 14 shots hitting on fours. And um, yeah, totally normal rolling there, just five successes. Okay, strength 12 against toughness 12, wounding on fours. Three successes, AP minus three. Two saved. And that is eight damage each for those two failed saves. I might re-roll one of those. Command point well spent. Yeah. So just eight then. <laughs> That's eight field of pains. Okay, so he's down to 18 wounds. Uh, next up, the Ardex Defensive Laz Cannon Arrays. I am bracketed. Two shots hitting on fours. <laughs> okay, uh, next up, the Ariok Power Claw, the big uh, bolter array thing on the back of the Ariok Power Claw's fist. 20 shots hitting on fours. Okay, that's nine successes, and four of them were sixes, and it has sustained hits one, so that gets an extra four attacks into the mix there. I'm going to be winning on sixes. Uh, just the one. <laughs> That'll do. Uh, next up, the two Ardex Defensor Maulers, six attacks each hitting on fours, and then strength six again, so wounding on sixes. Uh, yep, just just the one. Uh, again, AP minus two. Okay, so four again. How efficient. Okay, finally, the Apocalypse Missile Launchers, two of them shooting 20 times each. <laughs> hitting on fours, though. Um, I mean, 19 hits, that's that's pretty average. Okay, so now that is strength eight, so wounding on fives. Okay, that's seven successes. Uh, Steve's gonna need to make seven saves at AP minus two. Again, we're on that four plus. Four failed, two damage each. That's eight, right, eight feel no pains. And that's all of them. Not quite bracketed. Okay, that's all of my shooting. Seems a bit underwhelming, to be honest, doesn't it? So now my shooting is all over with, I'm going to choose the Castellan to inflict with the Wrath of the Omnisire, which means he has to take a leadership test right now. Okay, leadership of six, and we're good. And now it's the charge phase, and I'm going to charge that tiny little armager needing a five-inch charge. Oh, he's in trouble. Some slightly uh, inventive maneuvering there, guy. Look, if a Warlord Titan can't shunt a tiny little crate out the way to get a good punch in at an armager. What is the point of all of the Warhammers? Hmm? All 40,000 of them. <laughs> I'll, I'll allow it. <laughs> so actually, for the fight phase, I'm going to use the sweep profile of the Ariok Power Claw. Now, usually sweep profiles are lower strength, more attacks to clear out infantry, usually. But the Warlord Titan's sweep profile is still strength 12. So yeah, I'm, I'm just going to use that, I think. 12 attacks, but now I'm hitting on fives instead of fours. Oh my god, only two successes. Um, yeah, and now I'm going to be wounding on threes now at least because it's strength 12 against toughness 10. I'm in danger. Oh, I was going to save a command reroll for that, but I don't even need it. Look at that. Still AP minus three. Okay, so uh, I need to save on a six then. Okay, guy, how many damage was that each again? That's eight each. Oh. Does he explode at least? Oh, no. Four victory points for me. <laughs> wait, 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 before I'm finished. I'm going to consolidate because I can actually get within range of that center objective. So I'll be controlling two objectives at once, baby. <laughs> the plan worked. <laughs> yeah. Start of my turn three. And another CP. 
I'm still controlling two points, so that is 10 more victory points, bringing me up to 20. Guy's only on 18, so it's still all to play for. Same battle plan as before, let's just go. This movement phase, I haven't got a lot left, so all I've done is pretty much run everything forwards. We've got the Armager coming in from the back, he's going to try and do a charge in a moment. We've moved the Warlord closer to the objective, he's got Sticky, so he's going to be able to move on after that, if he's still alive. And Sir Hector has moved straight line as fast as he can to try and get that big robot. On to the shooting, and just like before, we're going to start with the Volcano Lance. D3 attacks, that's two attacks, hitting on threes. That'll do. Strength 18 versus 16. That's threes. Rerolling one of the fails. Right, that's two at minus five AP. Right, that's my five up in Vulnerable Sage. Let's go, baby. Okay, that's both failed. What damage does this do? Uh, D6 plus eight each. Yeah, I'm gonna use my command reroll. <laughs> Basically, once a game, I'm gonna use my command reroll to reroll one of those saves, please. 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 That was four command points. <laughs> so that's 16 plus whatever I roll. Oh, oh 26. Okay. <laughs> 26 damage. And, and how many have you got left, guy? I've got 20. Yep, that's it. It is dead. Uh, and now I get to do the best roll of the game to see if the Warlord Titan explodes on a six. And yes, of course, with the fantastically inspiring roll of a two, the Warlord Titan goes out, not with a bang, but with a crumpling, sad whimper. I mean, that was a fun game. It was still very fun. Lots of silly things happened. But man, even at 2,000 points, yeah, it the Warlord it Titan got annihilated in turn three. Yeah, it doesn't work. I mean, admittedly, this list is kind of geared towards it I suppose a little bit because that, that Volcano Lance is absolutely vicious but there are plenty of other uh, armies at 2000 points that could definitely deal out that kind of anti-armor. I mean I've gone up against a few and um, they take out knights with no problem so I, I think uh, yeah I think you'd struggle. <laughs> I just feel like the the big like money maker weapons that the World War Titan has are just really really underperforming. I feel like the, the fist hitting on fours is unnecessarily punitive <laughs> yeah and i think you've covered this before but i mean i definitely need saying again is that you've got such giant weapons and none of them crit there's no specials on apart from what the one bolt weapon where you get a sustained one you should be critting and doing some significant damages because you you rolled some sixes and there's nothing fun about rolling sixes and nothing happening yeah, yeah i mean if it was totally points balanced it would be your army plus another 75 percent of what you brought against the Wall of Titan. It would have it would have died in turn one probably. Yeah, it's not costed correctly official points wise, even at two thousand points it struggles in games like this. Yeah, it's really inefficient. I mean it doesn't get I mean that seems obvious to say, but yeah, it's it's definitely not worth the point value. And even at two thousand points, it's not a serious contender for actually winning a balanced two thousand point game. Even when we weren't playing secondaries, just playing main, you struggle a lot. It's unfortunate. It's just a real shame. I wanna see it do more ridiculous explodey stuff, but To be fair though, absolutely fisting that Lancer into the ground was amazing <laughs> yeah i mean there were a couple of moments like it really polished off the things it hit which was fun uh yeah like the the armiga that you just charged into and just punched straight into the ground like it wasn't even there that's <laughs> that is good but i want that from it all the time the really underwhelming thing I, I feel like is is the shooting i mean admittedly you're all quite high toughness targets but you'd think the biggest thing in the game might have some good stuff to use or multiple weapons at least to use against high toughness things rather than the sun fury which is like so swingy it's so swingy sometimes it does something but a lot of the time it doesn't do very much at all yeah and one other thing that i think is kind of missing from this edition that have been in other editions is a, a void shield mechanic of some variety because it, it seems a bit weird that you've got less defenses than a knight that can rotate his iron shields yeah yeah well a few of your knights have got void shields, haven't they? And I, f I feel like that is represented with the feel no pain. The Lancer has got a natural four plus anyway, so effectively for one CP, I can give the entire army a, uh, a four plus invulnerable against shooting every turn. 
but again it's probably not really designed for this board size if if you made the boards much bigger to play it on i wouldn't be able to get to you before you'd like wipe me off the table yeah i mean to be fair though this as a test of whether the warlord titan works much better in 2000 point games is is obviously yes because we lasted until turn three and it's not unheard of for normal armies to get tabled in turn three so um you know, I was facing a list that has a lot of really, really high damage and high strength weaponry. I feel like it was always going to turn out this way, but it was a fun game. I had fun. Did you have fun? Yeah, I mean, I loved it. It was great. I mean, winning is one thing, but it was a lot of fun. And uh, landing some big hits with some, particularly that Volcano Lance is, um, is hilarious. I've done that in a few games now, a couple in tournaments where I've like landed 30 plus wounds on single character models. And it is uh, massive overkill, but it's hilarious. If any of the Games Workshop rule writing team are watching, yeah, maybe leave the Warlord Titan alone, but nerf the Volcano Lance. Oh my god. No, no, no. Leave it alone. Your toys are broken. Leave my ones alone. <laughs> <laughs> well, there we go. Did that turn out how you thought it would? Gonna be honest, I've played a few games of the Warlord Titan now, and it always ends up this way. I, I think I've played six, and I've lost six. So, uh, two grand well spent, huh? Now my friend Ant is also really, really keen to pit 2,000 points of Tyranids against the Warlord Titan, so this definitely isn't going to be the last Warlord Titan battle report you see on the channel, don't worry. Now, massive thanks to our amazing supporters over on Patreon who keep this channel going, and you can join them for just £2 a month, and on top of the other cool benefits, like access to our Discord server, a nice discount on our web store, and behind the scenes fun stuff, new signups also get a shout out when they join too. So to perfectly represent how our supporters literally put food on the table, here's some sausage chunks from our new signups going straight into my dog Nessa's mouth. How many can she catch? Okay, here we go, this one's from Kevin, Isabella Raminos. Matt Brower, Max Chris 21, Trinkhorn Halter, Christian Miller, Daphne Fanger, Priscilla Chinchilla, Missy Soft, Winter Mute, Taylor Dresden, Phil Hooper, Most Okayest Painter, and James Ash. Pretty good. Good gal. Massive thanks to Incogni for supporting this video. Don't forget to check out the link in the description for an enormous 60% off an annual subscription on me, and check out the other links while you're there. There's the Midwinter Minis merch store, packed with loads of cool t-shirts, stickers, art prints and patches, and there's also cool ways you can support the channel too, whether that's uh, Patreon, donation links, and even Cameo too, where I have only 5 star reviews, so satisfaction guaranteed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.